everyone, my name is Anna and welcome to Cactus Caffeine. In this channel, I share with you my passion of growing cactus and other desert plants over a cup of my favorite beverage, coffee. So I have here in front of me my Myrtilla Cactus Geometra Sun. So this is a columnar cactus. If you can remember uh, last year, I made a video when I cut off the, my Myrtilla Cactus Geometra Sun. So it was all about propagating a columnar cactus. So I had this growing before, but I didn't like the way it was growing because it was thin at the bottom. And growing fat on top so I was afraid that this when it grows further taller it might not be able to support the column because the bottom are so thin or narrow so what I did was I cut them off and I rooted them separately so the top portion that I took off here are they now this is the first one and this is the other one so they've already rooted and grown a little bit so both of these came from this one so anyway let us continue the story of this Myrtillo cactus geometrizen so um this popped up a few months after i cut off the top portion and i let it grow some more but now i think it's big enough for me to take them off from uh, this mother plant and pot them up separately so as you can see I put this is like a crumpled paper in between them because they were growing too close to each other and they were rubbing against each other and the spines was um, damaging or causing scab marks on each of the columns so I stuck a little piece of paper in between just so they would grow separate so anyway let's now get going with the propagation of these columns or offsets so start off with a good clean uh, shears or scissors so I already washed this but I'm just gonna put some more alcohol in it just to make sure it is very clean and sanitized because you don't want to cause or introduce bacteria or fungus or infection on the cuts all right so i'm gonna use tongs to help me grab it now oh, i don't know if you call it farina too with cactus i think you have another term for it for cactus but yeah those are the white powdery substance around your cactus some of your cactus so as much as possible you want a clean cut right at that point where they meet that's where you want your cut to be and this is the next one So where I did the cut, at that point where I did the cut, as much as possible, you do not want them to get wet because they're it's like a fresh wound. So do not get them wet as much as possible until they're fully callous. So you can leave it as is and let it callous by itself. But what I do like to use is cinnamon. So just the ordinary cinnamon from your kitchen and i will sprinkle a little bit on top so from for these cuttings you can also use cinnamon or cinnamon powder at the end or just because i have a rooting powder on hand i am going to use rooting powder on them so this is the end that's what you want to dip in the rooting powder so I like to do this while it is still fresh while the wound is still fresh because it helps for the rooting powder to cling on it because if you dry it up first and you dip it in rooting powder the rooting powder won't stick to it so it's better if you dip it in the rooting powder while it is still fresh Okay. 
here you go that's enough so i will leave these two cuttings out for a few days maybe up to a week depending on how humid or dry it is in your environment so just make sure you leave your cuttings in a shaded area in a dry shaded area away from direct sunlight So because my cutting is dry and my soil is very dry as well, I can go ahead and give this a little drink of water. But if you are using a damp soil, then you don't need to water anymore. You can wait a few days until your soil gets dry. Now I will be keeping this in a shady position and I will just water it, you know, whenever the soil gets dry and then we'll see when it starts rooting. All right, everyone so it has been 10 weeks and now it is time to check if these has rooted so i think they did root because i can lift the cactus up and it doesn't come off its pot so i left these in a bright shaded area it does get some morning sun but not not a lot and i just watered it whenever the soil was dry so let's now check how the root system looks like okay and by the way if you like this video guys do give me a thumbs up it does help this channel a lot and i would appreciate it very much okay so i just watered this i think two days ago so it's a little bit wet but let's see how the root looks like so i brushed off as much soil as i can without breaking the roots so these are all the roots that developed from this cutting right here or this offset right here now let us check the other one oh wow this has a much better root See, you can see it right there now. So I don't know why this one has a better root system because they're just, you know, right beside each other. When they were rooting and they got the same water, watering schedule. But anyway, okay, so I don't want to break the roots. But as you can see, it has also rooted. So both of them rooted all right so that is it for my video right now guys if um you have any experience rooting columnar cactus please let me know in the comments below if you have any tips or tricks for us share them and i would greatly appreciate them and i'm sure the viewers would also appreciate them all right so that's it and until my next video guys bye and cheers